And I got to him on me. Uh, talk about breaking in gloves. Uh, just got a new Nakona. Camaro model AMG 1100 MT. Uh, one of the first times I've molded a Nakona. I've done uh, a lot of baseball gloves. And in my opinion, I think this is one of the most nicest ones uh, around. Uh, it's a combination of some kangaroo leather and some cowhide, so very lightweight, very easy to break in, and it's super, super soft. Uh, there's a lot of ways how you can mold and design breaking gloves. Uh, I like to not get I like to get away from the microwave ovens or just the ovens. Are very dangerous to the glove; it'll crack. Uh, and it's not good for the leather. Uh, I like to use plain old Barbasol shaving cream uh, with lanolin. Uh, about uh, four or five applications of this and just drown the glove inside and out and work it, work it in uh, the glove. After that, I like to use petroleum jelly. Um, this is the best way to break in a glove. Uh, Use this throughout the whole glove, inside and out. I'm paid probably about uh, maybe six to eight uh, sessions with this. Then after that, once the glove is uh, getting ready to hit, get yourself a mallet at Home Depot. This is $4.99. Uh, I like to duct tape the the hammer, the mallet, so I don't uh, put any kind of black spots in the glove. I just pound the glove like this. Make sure your finger is out and you ready to go. Uh, after that, once you've knocked it a few times, uh, make sure we always do this to the glove. Bend it, you know, uh, make it a little bit more subtle. And then what I like to do is put a baseball glove inside, lock it in place, that you close right to left. Seal it with uh, a bandage around it and um, keep it overnight or anytime you're not breaking it in with the, with the mallet. And it's important for you youngsters out there, um, when you hold a glove, try not to hold it this way. Hold it this way. So your ring finger as well as your